Hello everybody, it's Peter, Peter the Rock. I am looking at some foliage with a nice, nice few flowers on them. And uh, I'm on a slipway leading down to a lake. But I don't want to just show you that. I want to show you the current state of the HS2 Colne Valley Viaduct progress. Now, those of you who are new to the channel will um, won't really know what's going on, but there is a horizontal crane, girder crane, whatever you want to call it, um, over there. Uh, it's red and or and or orange, and was imported all the way from Hong Kong. It was made somewhere else, and it moves along inch by inch, laying segments uh, onto the end of the pier uh, struts. Now there, the great, there's several exciting things going on here now. It's a Friday. It's uh, just gone two o'clock. It's um, uh, the seventh of June. Most exciting. There are a lot of orange-suited men. Um, sort of talking and shouting at each other. So um, I've never seen so many in the same place. Um, there is uh, thankfully a spiral staircase still going up to uh, Pier 16, I think. There's some chugging going on, but it's difficult to see. It won't be long now, folks, until uh, Dominique is out of sight from this part of the world, I think another couple of weeks. Thanks very much to, I think she's called Cheryl, um, who I think is new to the channel, who pointed out, in fact, the footing of Dominique, the front bit, is now resting on a pier which is on land. Difficult to see what it's resting on from here, but I'll take your word for it. Thanks very much, Cheryl. Um, the most interesting thing to me is, the obviously Pier 15 has been developed a bit, it's a week since I've been here. It's the 7th of June today. Um, D-Day was yesterday. Now, people think, well, I, I don't care about D-Day. I wasn't there. My parents weren't there. You know, what's it all about, Alfie? Um, well, uh, <laughs> I was there, but I'm not old enough to have been um, actually, you know, running up the beach or whatever. Uh, I went there on the 50th anniversary in 1994 uh, as part of a group with some friends. And uh, um, we, uh, it was a kind of a, 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 I don't know, a commemoration, exploration, social event, uh, just sort of out of interest, really. And of course, the 50th was quite a big deal. And at the time, this was in 1994, as I say, we thought that, that might well be the last major event, but I was to be proved wrong. Uh, not for the first time, uh, because <laughs> the 80th, yesterday, uh, big, quite a big deal. Major world leaders, uh, Biden, Macron, um, uh, and a few others, <laughs> were there, uh, you know, commemorating. Uh, and of course, I think it's 23 people who who actually um, fought or, or ran up the beaches in 1944. Uh, of course, they won't be around probably uh, for the 90th celebration, so that was their last opportunity. When you're um, already 95 or 100, to go to one of these events is a bit of a strain, I should think. You know, there must be a chance that you might not... Uh, survive the journey. Anyway, let's not be morbid. Let's look at the optimism that's going on, um, which is uh, that uh, there doesn't seem to be any uh, major hold-ups or handicaps. Um, underneath the centre, as I look at it, of Dominique, there is a yellow cage. It looks yellow in this light. Depending on the light, these cages can look yellow or white. These cages are hoisted up and as far as I can make out, lowered onto the face of, a un, of an unfinished pier and uh, used, the, the people in them who apply some Loctite or super glue or other glues are available uh, to, um, to attach the next segment. A segment being 
a part of the viaduct. And if you look very carefully, you can see that each, uh, every eight feet or so, there's a new segment. And they're all different sizes. And they're all designed and made to match each other. So um, minimizing the chipping and scraping that needs to go on, unlike, of course, when I was up a chimney with a Kango. So there we are. Um, the other interesting feature is uh, uh, something you can't see. Now, when I was here last, there were segments lined up along the viaduct, ready to be installed. Now, they aren't there. So there are two possibilities here. One is that they've all been used on Pier, I think it's 15, um, already. Uh, another one is they, um, they didn't like them there, so they have put them somewhere else. I just don't know. Um, but it's a Friday afternoon. You know, uh, there, there are lots of cl little cl clutches of orange suited chaps and a uh, certain amount of clanging and bashing and chuntering going on. Um, <laughs> but no ducks, sadly. I did see one or two earlier. Uh, uh, there's a, I think there's someone there at the top of the cherry picker in front of me, but he's not really doing much. They're all having a bit of a, taking a bit of a breather. So what I'm going to do now, and you can see clearly at the back of Dominique, there are two antennae at the moment. Um, it's still a mystery what they're for. People have speculated in the comments. I really appreciate that. I, 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 there are more comments now than ever before and people are bursting with information. And, um, oh, that's interesting. There goes a train. Can you see it, folks? Just in the far distance, well, about three quarters of a mile away, two thirds of a mile away. That is a Chiltern line. And that's, uh, um, <laughs> that crosses the canal and the lakes through a, a, an old fashioned brick built Victorian viaduct which itself is a work of art, I think. Anyway, um, uh, I, I, I don't want to uh, bore my, my regular viewers, so I'm not going to talk much longer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to head down to uh, the, uh, where, the, where it meets the Grand Union Canal, see if I can work out what that green cherry picker is doing, which I, which I talked about in the introductory uh, video, and then see if I can actually get uh, up to the Harville Road, um, which is uh, getting on for a mile away in that direction, where um, the viaduct will will get under. But um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. It's Peter the Rock. It's Friday, uh, D-Day plus one, um, uh, and it's about two o'clock, and there goes another Chilton Line train. And you could just about see it. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. Like and subscribe.